think it's, you know, it, yes, vital, imperative. You're not going to be successful, I don't think, in the 21st century if you don't have computer skills. I just don't think you are. We need to have um, more uh, technology in our schools so it's um, available for every student. Ads are really healthy for kids. They're, they're excited about seeing what they've created on the computer. If they are not familiar with technology, they just want to get their hands on it and click away. So if you have a reluctant student, if you get them on the computer, they just want to do it and then you can sort of sneak in a lot of learning. We are not afraid to you know, wreck something because we know that we can do it. My computer at home is an older computer. It doesn't really work very well. I've been taking home Mrs. Roberts Tripoli, which I've done quite a bit of stuff on. I have uh, made a Facebook page simply because I know that my kids have them. I need to be able to converse with them on their level of understanding. I need to do those things so that I can keep up with them. I really think that technology is very engaging for students. Sometimes parents give me the impression they're worried about that. But this is the world our kids are living in, so we're not preparing them for the world we grew up in. I want a computer. Yeah. Very and we don't get internet at our house. I've tried several times to go on with the Tripoli. I don't think we're going to keep young people in the state of Vermont because there's not going to be jobs unless they can use a computer and work remotely. So, uh, you know, and I think that that's going to do the social divide even more. If your parents can afford it, then you're ahead. And if they can't, that puts you behind. And I think it's our job to make sure that we narrow that gap.